All right guys today we are in Mumbai the bustling business capital of India we are in the sparkling new campus of Bitsom which is in Kalyan this is not just a campus it's more than that it's the testament to the legacy of Bits Pilani which spans over a period of more than 5 decades this campus is huge at full capacity it can accommodate more than 5000 students speaking of students i have my friend ishita waiting for me will take us to the tour of this campus and will tell us what this campus has to offer so let's go i hope i didn't keep you waiting for a long time I was just awestruck by the beauty. I was just viewing the campus from outside, and it looks beautiful. Right. I can see there are a lot of artworks here. This looks more like a art gallery. Right. So, can you tell me what's the exact theme of this building, and where are we right now? Firstly, welcome to Bits Pilani Campus, Mumbai. I'm Ishita Pathak, and I'm a first-year student at Bitsom. Almost about to transition to the second year. Uh, you're standing at the academic block right now of Bitsom, and yeah, as you mentioned, the art pieces have been picked up by Mr. Birla himself. and it's a very vibrant campus so uh, looking forward to spending the day with you so what are some other buildings which are there in this beautiful uh, campus right uh, so the tower that you just see right in front of that is called the center of excellence i'm going to show you uh, what's there in uh, that particular block as well uh, on the other side there's a hostel that we have so there are individual rooms it's a capacity of around 325 plus right you mentioned that this academic block uh, seems to have a lot of places inside and i can't wait to uh, you know go and visit them first of all let's go and sit somewhere where we can uh, talk in peace sure all right ishita are you sure we are in library because yes. uh, this seems uh, too pretty we have trees we have uh, sunlight coming in so can you tell me why was this specific a uh, theme selected for the library here right i think as you rightly mentioned it literally feels like we're sitting under the sky so this was done in order for the students to feel as close to nature as possible just to have like a very calm peaceful vibe uh, when you're in the library and i think that's exactly what it's doing so it's a great place to be at so can you quickly run me through the kind of publications that you guys are subscribed to definitely so as you uh, saw there are like two terminals uh, that have been sponsored by bloomberg so any student who's interested does make full use of it uh, other than that we have subscriptions to our harvard business case studies uh then there is cmi there is emis so those are your databases in terms of pros iq statista other than that we have subscriptions to wall street journal economic times so the library i think has given us a full uh you know opportunity to make 100% use of the resources that they are and we most definitely do so it's it's extremely helpful and beneficial when you do have those resources at hand so speaking of assignments that you do here what's the curriculum like Okay uh so Bitsom follows a block teaching system um wherein there are two types of courses one is a core course so your essentials let's say a marketing a finance and operations and the other ones are called winning at the workplace uh courses so these are called wow courses so they're basically built for a uh, personality development so let's say presentations a communication class an ethics class we had a theater class So what happens is that these two courses one core course and one wow course goes on for 2 weeks uh so we're just studying marketing and ethics for 2 weeks okay and post which we have our end term we have our mid term we have our final assignments projects and then that's over and then there's a new faculty coming in and a new course starting so ishita you'll go into your second year right. like it's almost right on the corner just two days left for first year to get over exactly yeah and you have uh, what are kind of specializations you have Okay so in our first year we're studying all courses so we're getting a taste of like each and every course that there is whether it's marketing whether it's finance whether it's hr in your second year uh, there's an option uh, to either specialize in one subject or two uh, so the five specializations that we have are marketing uh, there's e-commerce there's entrepreneurship there's finance and there's leadership and strategy then uh, talking about the experience that i've had in my first year uh, it's been great in terms of learning um, i think one of the usps that bitsom has is their global faculty uh, we've gotten professors coming in from almost all over the world the best universities we had rohit dev uh, we had uh, dan gode coming from nyu stern we have professor raj ragunathan coming in from university of texas uh we have mark finn coming in from kilock school of management so it's amazing in terms of um, learning 
for an experience like this right where you get so many things on your plate what is the kind of investment monetary wise that a student has to make it's a fully residential uh, two year program so the total cost to student is 27.2 lakhs uh, apart from that we also have a bunch of scholarships uh there's a merit based scholarship there's a scholarship for women as well as financial aid the fee waiver on the tuition fee it ranges from around 33 to 100% all right ishita so we spoke about the kind of investment that one needs to make for an experience like this and we spoke about all the course curriculum and all the details in general i'm interested to know what are the other extra curricular activities you guys do for fun on campus why don't you take me to any place where extra curricular sure. activities are things First of all uh, in which room are we and what does usually happen here Right okay so we're standing at the games room right now as you can see there's foosball there's chess there's carrom there's table tennis there's snooker so there's a bunch of games that we play just for recreational purposes uh, there's also a gym just next to the games room apart from that there's also a lot of there's like a sports complex that's coming up uh, so there's a cricket ground a uh, football and a hockey like a 3 in 1 kind of a situation that's coming in uh, there's a cycling track that Pitsom's working on right now lovely and so ishita uh, so you mentioned about a lot of uh, facilities that you guys have right since you have so much of diversity and i'm i'm assuming there may be a lot of clubs and committees to cater to everybody's interests on campus so can you just run me through or walk me through the different types of clubs and committees you have on campus so there are six committees that we have so there's admissions i'm a part of the admissions committee there's the marketing committee there is an events committee um there is an academic committee that deals with the program team and there is an operations committee that takes care of the day to day needs that the students have apart from that there are 16 clubs that we have Uh, which is a mix of both professional as well as social cultural art so you have everything starting from let's say a product management club to a dance club to a theater club to a gen man club uh, apart from that our marketing club that's called bitsmatize uh, we just conducted um, our first ever face competition uh, which was successful we had over 940 applicants that registered with us there's a bunch of activities that keep happening here there is a public policy club called mandate so they help us with our current affairs for our summer internship or our final uh, internship placements uh, there's the finance club so they keep having these workshops just to get us equipped with the basic financial knowledge that one one needs we discussed a lot about the different clubs and committees so uh, have you participated by any chance in any case competitions or you know through these committees so uh, our cohort i think has made an effort to participate in as many case competitions as we could so if you open the whatsapp group right now i'm sure there's some or the other group that's won a case competition uh, so we do have a uh, a very very active participation in that we also did have a couple of uh, people within our batch who got an internship at flipkart by winning a case competition uh, there's also a group who got to present in front of the chief minister of odisha so it was a case competition related to samagra uh, public policy um, there's also a few who won the laurel case competition Uh, so i think we are very actively participating in that okay ishita uh, speaking of uh, competitions we spoke about that but has bitsom hosted any competition here on campus uh so talking about the events that we've hosted uh, one of the first events that we had on our campus was a bits alum meet uh so uh, alums from all the bits pilani campuses uh they came here and they spent a day on campus with us which was great apart from that there's also business valley which is uh, again a business problem competition so we do take in entries from uh, students from undergrad as well as masters so there are three rounds that they go through and then uh, we have people coming in from outside and uh, judging whoever gets to the finals uh, apart from that one of my favorite personal events that happened at bitsom was the human library now i think this is something that's very unique i don't think it's happened anywhere so essentially what we did was we had 14 speakers coming in from different walks of life so we had major vandana who had participated in Kargil war Krish Ashok who's the author of Masala Labs uh, we spent time with them like 30 minute sessions that we have uh, they were all over the campus they shared their life journey in terms of the challenges the success stories that they have so it was, it was a beautiful very wholesome event and i look forward to having that event on the new campus 
any new idea that a student has we also have an incubation center right. uh, where uh, budding entrepreneurs aspiring entrepreneurs can go and work on their uh, high quality tech startups we also have a podcast room um the media room essentially what we call it as um and there's a bunch of events that are lined up there as well um we have not yet seen the classrooms here yes. and uh, i've heard that they are very beautiful yes. so why don't you just show me around and let's discuss uh, other things that we want to discuss about alumni the or the placements and where do you start your journey from sure. all right let's right, go Okay, Ishita. Uh, classroom. I assume a lot of memories. Right. I think first year is going to get over since two months we've been coming here every single day. So lots of memories. Okay, Ishita. So a lot of hard work that happens here. At the end of the day, also you have to get placed and you have to you know work in a company. So can you just tell me about what all companies that uh, come to campus as a part of campus recruitment and what are the major roles that they hire for? For the cohort of twenty three, the final placements report is out. We're on. a median package of 23 lpa and the highest package was around 44 lpa for our seniors which is the cohort of 24 the summer internship reports out and uh, we're on a median of around 2.2 lakhs the highest stipend was 4.7 lakhs now talking about the domains and the companies that are coming in uh, let me give you uh, a few companies uh, that have come for both summer internships as well as final placements Uh, so in terms of marketing we've got pedilite coming in we have hul uh, we had britannia coming in this time um then apart from that in consulting we have adl that came in uh, we had mckinsey that's coming in um then uh, we had boston consulting group um in terms of finance we have jp morgan and kpmg coming in for leadership and strategy we have ey pwc or uh, deloitte so these are a few companies that come to my mind yeah one last thing ishita Who is an ideal candidate that should apply at Bitsong? So I think that's uh, pretty subjective. But in terms of eligibility, anyone who's finished their undergrad or is in their final year of uh, graduation uh, can obviously apply. What Bitsong looks at is a holistic profile, a 360 degree view of what the student has been doing till now. We also have freshers. There are around 25% freshers that we have, and another 25% who have less than two years of work ex. So in terms of everything, uh, in terms of maybe the work ex they have during their undergrad, the activities that they've taken up, uh, in terms of extracurriculars, whether they've won something, maybe national, international, whether they're into sports, it could be anything and everything. But it's a 360 degree view. of uh, your academics your examination scores your extracurriculars everything so ishita what about the application process uh, so it's a fairly simple process there's an extensive application form that the applicant needs to fill there are a couple of essays that you need to write as well um post which uh, you get an interview call if you're shortlisted uh, there's an online interview and post that you get your uh, offer letter a lot of students they are also interested they like it better if the um, institute offers them a global program right because they want to get the international exposure they want to go abroad for their b school journey have a holistic experience there and then maybe come back or work there so does bitsom has a global immersion program so we do have two professional collaborations one with the london business school uh, which is a 14 day uh, global immersion project where uh, students get to go it's uh, essentially based on sustainability and global business strategy our students also get to work on the entrepreneurial projects that have been incubated within lbs uh, the expenses obviously vary and depend on the students um apart from that uh, there is another program which is with the university of southern california marshall school of business so this is an extension towards research and collaboration it would be a dual degree program where uh, you get an mba from bitsom as well as a masters in stem research from usc marshall lovely i hope you all the best ishita i hope you make the most of it and the most of your experience all right guys that's about bitsom and if you like the video do let us know in the comment below there's a link in the description which speaks more about bitsom and the course that they are offering please do check that out also give it a like share this with people who are mba aspirants and would find this video interesting This is Sayed Saif from Team Inside IM signing off.